get some lemon juice in there. Um, wake up the flavor. Hey guys, just getting home from surfing. I'm kind of hungry. I'm gonna go check out what's for lunch. Um, there's really nothing. I don't know what there is, leftovers or whatever. So look in the fridge, see what we can come up with, and the freezer. So here we go. Let's see. Okay, let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. Over stuff, uh, soups, fruits, Get some bruschetta here. So, oh, what's that in the back? Uh, hummus. Ah. Ooh, we got some chimichurri and looks like some pesto. All right, That's some good stuff. Uh, pasta or something like that. It's in the freezer. Burritos doesn't go well with pesto. Oh, corn dog. Broccoli. Jesus. Ah, shit. that. Pesto here. Okay. Now I'm boiling some water. For the pasta, got some bow ties. Gonna try some of that. Make some extra for the kids later, in case they're hungry when they get home. Okay, water's boiling for some pasta in there. Just half a box. I don't want to overfill it. And while we're doing that, you gotta mix it occasionally. doesn't stick. Occasionally mix it up. 11 minutes. And while we're waiting for that, I got this pan heating. Get it ready for the shrimp. Alright. Warm up some olive oil. Okay, now this is ready. Saute it. Garlic. And then to heat a little bit. Fix this up too. Oops. There we go. Okay, shrimp cooks up pretty easily, so when it changes color, you know it's getting cooked. When that happens, I'm going to some here. Salt and pepper, put some oregano in there, some flavor, cook it up. When it's almost done, get some lemon juice in there. Um, wake up the flavor. When it becomes orange or close to it, take it out right away. It'll still cook while it's resting. So you don't want it to be overcooked when you eat it. Okay, let's cook for this side. Oof. Hope you can, can smell this. It's 
smells so good. And you notice it's not completely orange because as it's resting, it's going to cook some more. So let's taste one. Let's grab one of those. Let's grab a garlic with it. Still hot. Mmm. Perfect. Got that crunch. Mmm. Delicious. Really needed to add that lemon in there. It wakes up the flavor. Okay, done cooking. Now we gotta put it together. Pasta's done. It's right here. Looks good. Um, while I was getting stuff together, I also found some artichokes, quartered artichokes, and I chopped it up in some leftover peas that I noticed. We can add that. But to start, let's dump all these shrimp. All these shrimps in there. Let's dump some of that pesto. Can add more later. We might finish it, but let's see. Mix it together. Artichokes in there. Dump some of them peas in there. Get some color. Some sweetness to it. Of course, don't forget salt. More oregano, and let's get some pepper in there. There we go. There we go. Some pepper. Finally, a touch of lemon. The other half of the lemon. Ah, too bad I didn't have any capers. Usually add some capers in there too, but let's give it a taste here. Here we go. Mm. Okay. You know, let me come home after surfing, hungry. Um, usually there's something for me to eat here, leftovers or whatever. But today I had some time on it. Um, it goes to show that you can go in your kitchen, find anything, and you can put something together, something quick. It doesn't have to be any junk food. Um, it, can, it can taste great and stay somewhat healthy. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hit like. Also, push the bell. I'll remind you if I have any new videos. Alright, thank you for watching again. Hope you enjoy the video. See you in the next one. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Oh, shrimp tail. <laughs> Hit the ring the corn dogs. Uh, those things are really go well with pasta, pickles, ice cream, yeah. and more lemon. It should be good.